So this DM that I just read says, Sylvester, I want to put myself out there, but I'm scared of what other people will think. And this actually hurts my life and my dating life as well. So how do I get over it? So for the context, this person is an artist. So this person wants to put their art out. But then they also have the same problem in their dating life. They're not they're not able to like put themselves out there and make themselves available for dating, even though they want to date. So I think this is a, a common thing that some people uh, deal with. Uh, the first word that comes to mind is vulnerability is, you know, you're not making yourself vulnerable. Uh, you're protecting yourself. You're shielding yourself. Now, I think that when you protect yourself and you shield yourself, you know, there's a reason. Sometimes you're doing it because of like old school pain. Sometimes you're doing it because you're overthinking and you're thinking about pain in the future or, you know, rejection, someone not liking you. Like, this is what I tell myself, you know, one day I'm going to die. OK, I've been to a bunch of funerals, I buried my grandmother, uh, a teammate, roommate, my father, grandfather. And the list goes on and on. I've been to a lot of funerals in my life. And at every funeral, I always ask myself, what can I learn from this person's life? And what I have learned from every single funeral is that we all die. There's not enough time to be overthinking this. Oh, well, what if I don't, what if I don't, what? I just need to put myself out there. You know, one of my quotes from a couple of years ago says that I want to live full and die empty. I am not here to die with all of my ideas. I have to get this stuff off of me. Like I, I got to get it off of me. In the terms of dating, obviously everyone takes different roles. Uh, depending on your gender, where you are, your expectations of dating. So I can only speak to me. As a guy, my mindset with dating has always been, if there's a girl I'm interested in, I'm gonna talk to her. The word she can say is not interested. And when she says not interested, I mean, to be honest, it's seven billion people in the planet. So why would I break my entire soul, break my whole being and who I am? Because one person who barely knew me or, or who doesn't want to share space with me said no. I mean, it literally, when you think of it that way, it literally makes no sense because there's so many options. There's so much available to you that being so broken over one person who didn't even give you a chance, who doesn't even want to get the chance to know you, it just makes no sense. Because see, when you open yourself up for what you want in life, the right people just feel, they just feel it, right? They just feel that for you. Right. And they come in and they join you on that life. Like we can't spend our lives living for what is. And let me beg you to like me. We need to live for, hey, I'm going to put this out. I'm going to do it. If people love it, great. If they hate it, even better. If you love me, great. You hate me. That's your problem. That's none of my business. If you hate me, that's not my business. So focus on your business. Put yourself out there. Give yourself a shot. And here's what I'll say with the with the art thing. Art is subjective. There are I'm a best selling author. There's people who hate my words. You know, someone commented on my page the other day and was like, "Oh, this is simple. This is trash." So, bye. You know, it's like you don't have to prove your art to people. The people who are going to support your art will just support. The people who are going to support you will support. The people who don't like it who cares, man. We're all going to die. So my question to myself is. Do I want to die with my ideas or do I just want to put it out and, and let the world, let the, let the economy, let the market and let others decide how they want to interact with it? I, that's what I choose. I choose to let other people decide how they want to interact with my art. But I have to get my art off of my chest. Hope you continue to free your energy.